For centuries, I was looking for a species I could leave my legacy to, a life form intellectually advanced enough to be worthy. Darling, so you mean you'll give us all your technologies if we prove we are intelligent? Right. Can you all shut up? Champions of the realm, you've heard the man. We need to prove that we're not a bunch of dumbos. Yes. And it's dumb for one champion to have all the good skins. Ying, honey, you are the problem. Look who's talking. Ouch! That hurt! Is anyone else feeling like arguing? Sky is right! Torvald, Willow, Grok, when was the last time you received a new skin? Every patch, it's always Ying, Strix, Scott. Uh, y yeah, w well, it's always the same champions who receive new skins. We need to put an end to this. I'm really sorry. It's okay, honey. You can still have your default skin. Not a chance! We are letting Ying have one of her good skins, too. We will let them all have a fair chance of fighting. The eight judges of the realm join us today to provide a fair judgment. You guys know my opinion of a lot of skins, but what if I ask real artists to give their opinion on what are the best in skins in the game? Now, since most of them ask me to use text rather than voice, I summoned Galaxy Hi. to help me read out loud their verdicts. The first round is Street Style versus Carnival Yi. Galaxy, which one do you prefer before we start with the professionals? I would say Carnival Yi. Actually, Carnival, yeah, that could be the winner. Round one. Can't match my moves. <laughs> Your walk is too stiff. Let the battle begin! The Soul Theta says that Carnival has hotter colors and is much bolder concept-wise, and she kinda has less, but has more if you know what I mean, winky face. <laughs> Street style design fits well to the celebrity concept, opposing colors go well together, and the details in the accessories and the weapon is just nice. Man, Street style just got slapped in the face here. It's just nice, you know? When you're trying your best, and then the judge just looks at you and says, yeah, it's just nice. Exactly. <laughs> I'm too much for you. And the first blood was shed! Born Crusher, Carnival is maybe the most thick skin in the game. Carnival has two concepts, Valentine's Day and the Carnival of Brazil. Which is actually a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> this skin is almost an underwear, but again, is the who we're talking about. Yeah. Valentine's Day is not about love only, if you know what I mean. What is it also about then? Um... Cuddles? <laughs> Mm, the more you learn. <laughs> the classic red colors and hearts, the bra and the tights, oof. <laughs> this skin satisfies the Valentine's concept and it could satisfy your most nasty thoughts. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh! Do you have any nasty thoughts it could satisfy? Uh, no, not that I can think of right now. <clears throat> not about street styling anyway. Yeah. The street style skin surely looks good, but that's it. The concept is more like a cosplay or a casual outfit. It doesn't appeal to music at all. Carnival of the Ink is sexier, it has a solid concept, and it's more musical and street style. Which is actually a good point. Street style is supposed to be musical, but then Carnival is kinda even more musical because that makes sense. Maybe some people think it's a mistake that Carnival speaks Spanish instead of Portuguese. But here in Mexico, we celebrate the Carnival too. Ooh. This guy nailed it. Yes. Oh my god, this guy is amazing. So, how do you like Carnival? I can say I like everything. You like everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what about her unusual dressing style? Is that still fine? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she looks really great. It doesn't look bad on her. Hmm, and what about street style? I mean, I really love but I don't like her cup. For example, I did just a quick total. Nice. Of, I will add some headbands instead of a cup that also has the Palenz logo and it's like a I'm too much for you! Impressive! Carnival has been undefeated so far! If Carnival gets one more point, Street Style is out! Told you! Carnival's gonna win this! It's gonna be a 4-0 victory! Next up! We have Teteria, and they say they prefer Street Style! Oh no! Carnival's kid is nice, but there are some details I don't really like! For example, her stockings! Oh, I really like those though! Those are like the, the thing that accentuates her outfit! Their color doesn't match the design, I would either make them darker or just leave the boots without any stockings. Hmm. That would be odd, man. I, I approve that. Yeah, that's why I prefer street style, okay? It's more neat and compact, the color scheme is very compatible with each other, it's not too contrasting, but not pale. 
Also, small details, belt and jewelries make this design quite detailed. Okay, so Titari is kind of more uh, of my type of person. They look more at the detail. Even the way they draw, they pay attention to those little thingies, but I can hear disappointment in your voice. I am a little disappointed. It's a good skin, but it's just not my favorite skin. <laughs> okay, next one. Remazu says, I prefer Swiss Tail because she has that stuffed mini dog around her waist that I really earns three points just for that. It will be at five points. It will be a stuffed cat, I think, for you. Oh, yes. No, ten points. And she really looks like she is going to have a dance party with whoever challenges her. Things happen in my mind. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine, yeah. And her carnival skin is boring. Hmm. Get up my face! Two boys for street style! I wasn't expecting him to call carnival boring. That's a very interesting opinion. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's boring yet. Boring. <laughs> it's more It's more the boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> Ikimei. I like street skin more because she has fishnet tights and a part of her hips is visible between her skirt and pantyhose. Oh, someone has a perverted mind. And that... <laughs> I mean, that's a reason why I invited both safe at work and not safe at work artists. <laughs> and the appearance is more different from the usual appearance. I agree with that last one, because seeing all of her skins were fantasy, like the mermaid, eastern, medieval, and then uh, we have street style, which is completely different. It's just a modern girl, like casual outfit. Like me. Like you. Final round. Whoever loses this next one gets eliminated for good. I still believe in carnival. Come on, babe, you can do it. So next up we have... Marshmallow art! Oh, how cute! Marshmallow art! They say, I had to go with street style. Not only is it more polished than the other, but the color combination is great. Her weapon is really cute, and it's one of the best of hers. Sally Carnival is not that interesting. Her colors are alright, but I feel like there is room for improvement. Street style wins! To the front! Ah! Sorry, guess you just tripped. Damn, what a twist! I was sure Carnival would win this round, but the winner is Street Style Oof, maybe next time. But you know what? Street Style's a great skin, so like, <laughs> I don't really mind. Let the next contestant come in! What is this? Ying, is that you? We're going to the creepy side of Ying. You know, every person has their bright side and dark side, and so does Ying. Round 2 is Banshee versus Replicant. Oof, that's gonna be interesting, to say the least. Obey me, creature. You, you will not control me. Let the battle begin! Banshee has a cooler weapon and a cooler color scheme, and her voice is way more expressive than that of the plain AI speech. The Replicant Ying's voice is just very plain. Hey, I like it! I know, she's so toxic too. You're not the ordinary meatbag. <laughs> Although Replicant has portal references, which is cool, but not enough to win the point. You think you know torment? <laughs> Banshee gets the first point, like easy. I love her badass voice. On her being angry at everybody and anybody, it's just like a polar opposite of what Ying is normally is. Mm, it's like Ying after losing five ranked matches in a row. Yes, exactly like that. That's that's me after losing five matches. Iramisu, they say the armored one. Mm, badass is fine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like Ying, but better than the replicant that looks like the metal Nara. Oh, Iramisu, I still love you, but oh, that was right in my feels, man. <laughs> okay, so next we have Bone Crusher, and this guy has been crushing it so far. A little fanboy moment here, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He says, A Banshee, according to Wikipedia, oh, we're getting scientific here. <laughs> yes. It's a female ghost, part of the Irish folklore. It's pretty cool how her designers found a concept that fits for Ying. The mirror reminds me of Lost Souls from Doom, so I can tell the skin is not only ghostly, but it also has a demonic influence. The thing I don't like of the skin is, well, the belly. I mean, showing the belly makes the skin look sexier and less scary. I think that this happens because, well, it's Ying. Most of her skins are meant to show her attributes. I like how he said attributes and stuff. Man of culture, I gotta say. A respectable... Um, Gentlemen. But once you're making a ghost skin, try to make it look ghostly or scary, like they did with Nightmare Fernando or Full Moon Victor. Actually, a good point. He goes for replicating. The fact they made Ying's face expressionless is a hit. And I just realized that's actually true. Yeah, you're right. She has no expressions whatsoever. That is so cool. Robots can't feel emotion, and this concept gets better with some voice lines, like the Monty Cap line. What is this feeling? Is this fun? 
The skin plays with the idea of a robot who tries to understand human emotions, sometimes similar to the movie I, Robot or Detroit Become Human. Replicant Ying is trying to show happiness or excitement, but her facial expressions will remain neutral, and that's what makes it one of my favorites. Dude is getting like deeper than Adele here, it's just insane. Replicant Ying is not sexualized like Banshee? So Replicant is more a robot than Banshee could be a ghost. <laughs> I feel like it could be a writer. Born for replicant! Moving on to the next one. We got Tateria, and they chose Banshee. There are so many things to look at. The green glowing skin and the dark purple armor make her creepy and beautiful at the same time. It's a creepy kawaii look. <laughs> creepy really kawaii creepy. look. Jeez, this is getting interesting. <laughs> I'm falling to pieces. Replicant needs more walls to win this. Next, we have Ikimei. He said, I don't like Banshee. She's trying to look sexy while at the same time wearing armor that covers everything. That's my man! <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It just makes no sense to me. Besides, the, her mirror is huge and covers a big chunk of the screen. That's actually a very good point. I like Replicant more. It's not trying to look sexy, it's just an overall solid skin. Besides, it reminds me of Susie from iRob. Another iRobot reference! There's a lot of times where someone has a robot, they make them really shiny and reflective where it just looks like a car. But they made Replicant matte but still shiny in a way, which is really nice. Yeah, it doesn't look cheap. And it also helps you focus on like her moving hair, like look at that hair. <laughs> and what about Banshee? I love the armor so much. Do I think she should have bright green skin and bright green hair to go with it? Not as much. <laughs> I'm not sure. But why is her hair just a shining beacon of a Shrek green? <laughs> Next up we have Marshmallow, who says that they like Banshee the best. Hmm. The armor makes her look menacing, taking a different tone on Ying's character. Mm -hmm. Her weapon is also very nice and unique, despite being one of the bigger mirrors she has. Another comment on being one of the bigger mirrors. I definitely agree. Size it was matters. Really, like, yes it does. <laughs> The only good thing about Replicant is the voice pack. Her skin itself is lacking and it could have been done better with some adjustments in the hair or clothes. Iron within, iron without. I expected more of a challenge. Yar, the sea spirit win! This means nothing! Guards, take her back to the building, quickly! And the winner is Banshee, surprisingly enough. I think I failed two in a row. <laughs> I thought Carnival will win. It lost. I thought a replica would win. It lost. Man, I should not review skin. <laughs> so, tell me more about your society. Oh, darling, we are very advanced. We keep constant communication and we redistribute the riches all the time. Good, good. And what technologies are you interested in the most? Pest signs, you know, to remove those pesky little bugs that plague the realm. The next one is probably the hardest one, because we have two skins that are the same model, but different colors. We have a very bright Snapdragon, which is reds and blacks, and then we have a very mouse colory Quicksilver, which is all the shades of grey in one skin. <laughs> no pun intended. So which one are you going for this round? <sighs> Snapdragon is my all-time favorite skin. Same here. Snapdragon the red just won my heart over. Grey is just too boring of a color. Sorry, Mousy, no offense. Mouse rage intensifies. I'm gonna start with what our friend the Soul Data said. He chooses Snapdragon. He said Quicksilver is just way too plain. That's my dude. Like they both have same textures and stuff, so the only color difference makes Snapdragon stand out. That, that's just my thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. Next up we have Bone Crusher with the choice of Quicksilver. What? what? Okay. I think Quicksilver Ying is better because it looks more fancy due to the silver what? color. Mm, I kinda guess where he's coming from, cause silver and gold represent royalty. Hmm. Snapdragon is not that fancy or aggressive like the name suggests. Quicksilver exists thanks to Snapdragon, but I think that's the only good thing I have to say about it. Bone Crusher. He's going for the more conservative uh, choice here. Tateria, they say. I think most people rather choose Quicksilver, but I like Snapdragon. She looks more hot. Colors are contrasting and well combined with the color of the hair, so that's what likes to me in Quicksilver's skin. Colors of the outfit are so soft and delicate. If they go for the gentle palette, they should actually give her gray hair too. And actually they get her gray underwear, if you noticed. No, I haven't, thank you for letting me know. Okay, Quicksilver has gray underwear, it's not black like in Snapdragon. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, moving on. Next up, we have Marshmallow, who says, Quicksilver! Another vote for Quicksilver? That's a shock. That's a shock. The red of the Snapdragon is nice, but it's something we've already seen in other Ying skins. And Quicksilver is honestly so elegant and good looking on her. It looks like a mastery skin. Honestly, if all champions had a silver skin like Ying does, that would be pretty rad. Actually, mm -hmm. a person had a concept skin for like, if you reach Mastery 100 with your character, you should have a white and gold oh. outfit, which is really cool. Yeah. Is this a draw? Everyone, silence! When Buck jumped out of this bush to try to yeah, steal bro, his Yeah, you're attacking the sharks with your obnoxious Did voice. Did someone say sharks? Is this what you call intelligent life forms? Like, whatever. So, fellow champions, what should we do to those two? Besides sending them flying down the cliff? Off with your left hand! Cast on Get lost! To the front! Hey, wait! Ah! I could use those in an experiment. Oops. The next one are two skins that have the same style made three years apart. Genie was made when mix and match was still a thing. Let's see if she has a chance here. I'm rooting for High Priestess, personally. <laughs> okay. So Theta says, High Priestess. What a surprise. Genie's outfit blends in with the skin. High Priestess's colors are more vibrant and has cooler effects overall. My homie Aramazu says, High Priestess, because she has so many details, accessories, jewels, her makeup, her hair, and her weapon. It fits the Egypt theme so well. Genie is just the ink but with blue skin. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> no, that's Jesus. true. I have no doubts here, High Priestess wins. Well, Genie Ying is. Probably the designers took inspiration from the Aladdin's Genie. Yeah, honestly, but uh -huh. Ying doesn't look like a genie at all. The clothes are the only thing that resemble to the Arabian culture. About the voice back, the accent sounds exaggerated. I guess the same thing could be said about Maeve and her French accent sometimes being over-exaggerated. Maeve accent skins. is perfect. Right? Don't even dare. Perfection look. Uh, to, like, <laughs> don't even no. dare. Don't no, even go there. It's perfection. It's the cat eyeliner and the haircut makes me think of Cleopatra. And then High Priestess served the Egyptian pharaohs, so she could have been a servant of Cleopatra. Hmm. That's a good point. The particles show us hieroglyph. The mirror has stars and these things give an astral star. I think Egyptian culture also had a lot to do with the astral and the stars. Yeah. After all, the ancient Egyptians made an astronomic observation. <laughs> Called it! Called it. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> and the construction of the pyramids are related to aliens. It sounds weird, but that's what people say. He's a legend. He even plugged some conspiracy theories here. I love the guy. Jesus. <laughs> this is great. I love his detailed answers. The purple scheme is what I love of the skin and is understandable of the fact that the skin is sexualized. <clears throat> <laughs> Cleopatra is usually related to lust and history says that she introduced Julius Caesar and Marcus Antonius. Oh, so yeah, it's perfect That's for you. a good point. This guy has a master in history or something. He might be a history major. You know, no. Anyway, let's move on to my friend Tateria. They say, I really like Ying's eye color in Genie skin. The color scheme looks beautiful. But if I had to choose, it's High Priestess. I really love how they combine black, purple, and gold elements in her clothes. I really appreciate how much effort design had put on the skin. You start to notice every detail when you try to draw fan arts of the skin. And that actually makes a lot of sense because Titaria drew an insane fan art of High Priestess. Yes, yes, you showed it to me. It was very well made. Next up we have Ikime. And they chose High Priestess. Wow, I feel bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> I like the High Priestess more because she has the painted eyes and the tight-fitting costume. And what I like about Ikime, he knows what he likes, and he's just very straight about that. He's a straightforward man, you can respect that for sure. Marshmallow, and he prefers... Oh my god, it's gonna be a 5-0 victory. I love Genie, but High Priestess not only looks better with new textures, but also has one of the best mirrors in the skin gallery. Jesus, so High Priestess just wins. She just... the floor. What yeah. Oni? What now? What if we... seduce him? I don't think this is a good idea, Sky. Oh, what a bore. Ayo, honey, I have a mission for you. Genos, look. We found another space traveler. Come in, sweetheart. Interesting. What galaxy are you from, fellow space traveler? Mew Mew? I'm gonna kill you slowly and painfully, I am. Fascinating name! Never heard of it. Would you mind if I showed you my spaceship? Fellow champions, it is time for the finale! Last round! 
Let the judges decide the winner! <laughs> they chose High Priestess. The weapon, illusions, events when she ults, and her coloring and design were just a huge hit with Soul Theta. Alright. I mean, that was expected. I'm pretty sure High Priestess will win this. And as soon as I say that, Eremasu says, Street Style! What? Uh, that's interesting, Why actually. Street Style? Eh? Okay, he says, Any Maeve skin? That's it. I agree! <laughs> oh my god, what a goof, I love the guy. <laughs> I choose Tree Style because it's a beautiful skin with pleasant colors without visual pollution. It's good to look at. And visual pollution, it means that adding too many things on the character, things that make you not know where to look at. I agree with that. When a skin has too many stuff, you don't know where to look at. It takes away from it, essentially. Alright, next up we have Bone Crusher, And he says, Replicate what? Me. It's the only skin that doesn't depend on boobs to be an amazing skin. You know what? Oh That's a good God. point. So the whole concept has its own story. Too bad it doesn't have splash art because it deserves it. Honestly, it does oh. deserve it. Never noticed it doesn't have a splash art. The next one, a freaking what? Banshee. Most think skins have a cute and attractive girl concept. So that's why Banshee is so unique for me. It's creepy, dark. Even her gloomy voice is not how you're used to seeing. Each piece of armor is well designed. Design overall worthy of praise. Point for Banshee! <laughs> Let's continue with our friend Ikeme. Ikeme chose High Priestess. She has a great combination of black, white, and pink. Her elastic suit has a square pattern, which when considered adds an interesting texture. Against the background of the golden bangs, her pink eyes look even more attractive. Her breasts are covered with thin fabric, and you can see all of her roundness. <laughs> oh, okay. Ikeme, my boy. <laughs> got some great support. It's, th it's thin fabric, but that's great support. <laughs> it's natural. <sighs> sure. We can say it's all it's natural. It's magic, okay? She used her yeah, spells for that. Yes, for that extra support. Mm, mm -hmm. yes. He just gave High Priestess the lead, and Marshmallow will have the deciding vote. He said, if I had to pick the best thing skin, it would have to be Mermady. Ooh. That skin is nuts. That skin was beautiful. The only reason I didn't pick High Priestess is because it's a concept too similar to a regular ink. And I think that when you're making a skin, you want to make the character stand out the most away from their basic design. So, what do we have here as winners? First spot is definitely High Priestess. Evil Mojo, nice job. We can see the progress, the first skins, they were good, but like, second spot is Banshee. That was a shock. That was a shock. Third spot is Replicant Ying, what? Fourth spot is Mermaid tied with Street Style. Carnival is not here. Carnival that is, is unfortunate. One one. This is insane. I give up on reviewing skins, guys. This is gonna be the last <laughs> video of the channel, just kidding. That was thrilling, Genos. Honey, I hope this proves that we I are- I am sorry, Lifeform. I have other... Uh, affairs to tend to. So, anyway, there is a planet I want to show you. It has flowers in the shape of crystals. Hosphere playing as Grok. Bonus track, cause why not? Ah, that fox lady, she has another fox in her! Ah, ah, ah. I like fried chicken. That strange fellow with the star on his face. Who is he exactly? Wait, stop, 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 stop. What are we even doing? Why are we even holding this contest in the first place? Wait, so that stick of yours can shoot a pointy stick? 